Welcome to AzureTeach.net. We are going to develop a minimal API endpoint with file download capability. We are going to test it with Swagger and also with Postman. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.net channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. Here I am creating a new ASP.NET Core Web API project. Clicking on Next. I named my project as minimal API file download clicking on next and here if you want to use minimal APIs we have to uncheck this checkbox and we are developing this in .NET 6 I'm clicking on create if you don't know what minimal API is minimal API is a new way of developing APIs using .NET 6 it is very simple if you see in the solution explorer we don't have several files like we see in the regular web api project and also in the program.cs file we have very less amount of code this is the minimal code required to create an api here if you see this code is similar to the code that we generally see in the web api project startup.cs class and here if you see we have code related to the weather forecast endpoint Generally in the regular web API project will get a separate controller for this but here in the minimal API mostly will write everything in the single file but of course we can write code in multiple files also. This is more suitable for developing microservices and here if you see this class is having very minimal code and it didn't even have a class declaration. Here in the boilerplate code we have map get similarly we can write map post put and all the http methods that we generally see in the actual web api let me remove the boilerplate code which is related to the weather forecast i'm removing this and also this now let us write an endpoint so here i'm writing app dot map get and i am naming my route as slash files slash download file and here we have to pass a lambda here in this folder i have sample report.pdf so we are going to download this file from the api just a one line code is needed to download the file so i am writing that here return results so we have to use results in the minimal api to return the content from the minimal api endpoint so here if you type dot we can see ok not found bad request so we have all the methods that we generally see in the web api so to download the file we have to use file method to this we have to pass the path to the file so here i'm writing the colon slash tutorials slash sample report dot PDF and here its content type is application slash PDF. If you want to give a download file name, you can give that as well. So here I'm giving report.pdf as the download file name. And here we have to put a semicolon. And that's it. That is what we have to do. Let us run the solution. The swagger UI opened. I'm clicking on the get, clicking on try it out clicking on execute so here if you see it is showing a download file link on clicking of this it is showing us this pop-up and the file will be saved as report.pdf let us open this file so this is the file that we downloaded from the api let us test it from the postman as well here i have opened the postman and pasting the URL clicking on send button so it downloaded the file and here is the file that is all in this demo if this video is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you